the time of my life And I never felt this way before And I swear this is true Breaking news out of York County today, a jet fighter has crashed down at Penn State York campus. We now go live to Ollie Williams at the Harrisburg International Airport for more. Ollie? I'm at the wrong airport! Oh, sorry about that, Ollie. We now have police confirmation that there is no serious injuries in the plane crash. However, we have with us on set today a survivor of the incident who witnessed it firsthand, Will Myers. What Will, what did you experience when the plane crashed? Well, I was walking through the Lucifer parking lot going to Orange Tea, and I uh, just look up and I see a plane spinning out of control, coming down, coming down, the engine, the one engine was smoking, and it hit the ground with a horrible explosion, and I just, I just, I just got out of the way just in time for it. It sounds like a terrible experience, Well, I'm glad you're okay. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that little skip we had right there. Now, obviously, that wasn't real, you know, just a little skip we put together here. So basically what this movie is about is all green screen effects and history behind them, how to make them using iMovie, and that's pretty much it. Let's look back at some of the history with green screen. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to implement these green screen effects into your movies and make us some awesome movie effects. What you want to do, you want to make sure you have your original movie that you recorded out, outside or somewhere. You want to open up Safari, go to YouTube, and what you want to do, you want to, if you know a specific green screen effect you want to find, just type it in the search box. There are hundreds of green screen effects out on YouTube, and once you find the one you want, this is the one I use, the jet crash. Click on that. You want to make sure it's the one you want. Make sure it looks all cool and stuff. And replay it because it looks cool. And what you want to do next, you want to copy the YouTube URL. Do that right here. You want to open a new tab. And in the search box, you want to type in keepvid.com. That's, that's what you can use to download any YouTube video that you want. You paste the UR this is how you paste the URL into the box, hit download, and while it waits for the Java applets to load, you want to hit allow, there it is, you want to hit allow so that Java can work and you can download the video. I always try to download 720p if it's available, it's high definition, it looks great. And once you do that, left click it here, do that, it goes into your downloads and it will go onto your desktop wherever you have it saved. Once you do that, you get out of here. Go to import, file, import on iMovie. And look for it. Should be on my desktop. And there it is. You want to import that. Make sure it goes into your correct event that you want it to be in. And there it is. What you want to do is make sure it looks good on the iMovie. And we want to go up to your iMovie preferences. You want to make sure the advanced tools are showing. It has green screen in there. That's what we need. You want to make sure advanced tools are always showing. And you want to take uh, your original film, drop that into your project. For this project, I have it labeled Demo 1. Now you want to take your green screen effect and drop it on top of your original film and place it anywhere you want and make sure you go down and click green screen. 
what that does, it eliminates all the green within the green screen effect, and all you see is the jet crashing. And you can see I got kind of squashed right there. So what you want to do, you want to move it around, make sure it doesn't look, well, it looks fake, but you want to make sure you don't get crushed or anything. And once you have it all fine and dandy, you got yourself an awesome green screen effect. And edit it around, make sure, make sure it looks okay. And that is how you make a iMovie green screen effect. Hope you enjoyed it. Now we're going to go out and show some awesome, more awesome things you can do using iMovie and green screen effects. Okay, so basically to make any sort of green screen effects, you need a large area like this parking lot behind me. Other than that, all you need is a video camera and you cannot have the video camera moving or, or else your green screen effect is going to be messed up. So what we're going to do here, we're going to demonstrate how to use an intersection like this in the parking lot as a point where two cars come into collision with each other. It's not going to be real, it's going to be all green screen effects and I think you're going to like it. What we're going to demonstrate now is uh, a helicopter crash in the soccer field behind the IST building. Now let's go live to Ollie Williams on the Channel 5 tractor copter. Ollie? Everybody looks like that! Probably cause you're up so high, Ollie. Ollie, where are you going? Here you get it! Thank you for watching this video. We hope you learned something from it. We hope you enjoyed it. You know something, Corey? I don't always make awesome movies, but when I do, I end like this. <laughs>